welcome back to my channel. This is Unordinary Blogger and my name is Ivy. In today's video we're going to be doing sort of like a book club deal. Um, I've been reading again and it is something that I've always loved doing. Um, but I've just now gotten back into it. I have so many books to read that I've collected over the years and um, just haven't gotten to it, haven't gotten around to it. So now that I'm taking the time, fingers crossed, <laughs> hoping to finish about a book a month um, and kind of have this be like a monthly ordeal. This month, uh, if you've been keeping up on my stories on Instagram, I have been reading The X Hex by Erin Sterling. And I have loved this book. I finished it last night and I wanted to make this video while it's still all fresh in my head. Um, so I don't forget anything. <laughs> and also I have the time today, so might as well make a video about it. So in this book, um, a lot of things happen and I wrote down some notes. So if you see me um, referring to down here, that is what I'm referring to. So, first and foremost, I want to talk about the art of the book. Oh, also, I wanted to include in these videos, I'm going to try not to, like, spoil too much of the book, but just know that if you haven't read the book, I'm probably going to be talking about components of the book in these videos. I won't spoil too much of the good, good stuff, um, just in case you haven't read it but um like plot you know narration stuff like that are all things that i'm going to be discussing like character development stuff like that um so just so you know come back to this video later if you end up reading this book and want to discuss it further with people who have also read this book um so for those of don't who don't know what book of the month club is um book of the month not book of the month club Book of the Month is a subscription service type ordeal um, that you you basically get like five or so books to choose um, each month and you choose one um, and it's about $10 or so per month um, and you can have the choice to do add-ons and whatnot. I don't know it's not sponsored so i'm not going to talk too much about it but that's the subscription service i have most of my books from um yeah so if you hear me talking about them in future videos or whatever that's a subscription service that i have used in the past and that i am using currently um and yeah not sponsored though if they would like to sponsor me i would be happy to but you know so the x hex aaron sterling so it does say that aaron sterling has um she writes as rachel hawkins and she let me see it says in the back i don't want to get anything incorrect um she also also writes as aaron or, oh my gosh Aaron Sterling also writes as Rachel Hawkins, the New York Times bestselling author of multiple books for young readers. Her work has been sold in more than a dozen countries. She studied gender and sexuality in Victorian literature at Auburn University and currently lives in Alabama. So that kind of gives you a little bit of background on the author. Um, but yeah. Let's jump into it. First, I wanted to talk about the art of the book cover and inside of the book. I'll show you. I think it is so darling. I think it's so beautiful. There's the little witch, the two witches and the broom. Um, you can see that one of them's a, a male presenting and the female presenting. Dark hair on the male, blondish hair on the female, which coincides with the character descriptions in the book um i just think it is so darling the color scheme beautiful um yeah i think it's i think it's beautiful um and then in the i do like the font as well 
um, I think it's really pretty and um, very witchy. This I just am obsessed with. I love that. The little kitty cat filled with beautiful stars. Um, I think it's beautiful. So, for the purpose of this book though, I'm going to take this off just because it, it makes a lot of noise and it's in my way. So, this book is very interesting. Oh, first I wanted to read the little inside clip thing just so you can get a feel of what this book is about if you haven't read it or if you um, are, are thinking about wanting to read it. So I'll read it. Um, it says, never mix vodka and witchcraft. Nine years ago, Vivian Jones nursed her broken heart like any young witch would. Vodka, weepy music, bubble baths, and a curse on the horrible boyfriend. Sure, Vivi knows that she shouldn't use her magic this way, but only an orchard hayride scented candle on hand. She is, isn't worried it will cost him anything more than a bad hair day or two. That is until Rise Penhollow, descendant of the town's ancestors, breaker of hearts and annoyingly just as gorgeous as he always was, returns to Graves Glen, Georgia, which or what should be a quick trip to recharge the town's ley lines and make an appearance at an annual fall fair turns disastrously wrong with a calamity after with one calamity after another striking rise vivi realizes her silly little ex hex may not have been so harmless after all suddenly Gra graves glen is under attack from murderous wind up toys a pissed off ghost and talking cat and a talking cat with some interesting things to say Vivi and Rice have to ignore their off-the-charts chemistry to work together to save the town and find a way to break up, break the breakup curse before it's too late. So that kind of gives you uh, an idea of what it's about. The reason why I chose this book for um, this month's choice of book when I when I ordered it was one I love anything Halloween. <laughs> Halloween inspired, fall, fall, whatever. And it just sc screams right up my alley. Um, and the book, the, the cover art honestly got me as well. So that kind of gives you, it is a fictional novel. Um, so that kind of just struck me as, it's not normally what I would go for as far as, um, types of books. I normally like, I know, like thrillers, um, anything horror, anything, um, you know, I, I do like fiction a lot of the time, but um, I will say I haven't read a book this fast in years and I don't know what it was, whether it was, um, you know, the off the charts chemistry between the two characters or whether it was um, me just really being in the, in the mood to read a book, but I read this book so fast. It probably took me about two weeks and that was because I had to take a break in between for, for work and school and whatnot. Um, but I read it pretty fast and that's fast for me considering I haven't read a, a book all the way through in, in years, um, since high school probably. But, yeah, that being said, I really loved the characters' chemistry together. I think um, the author did an amazing job writing um, their character development in that sense. Um, I did write down some questions that I answered that I found online about the book, um, not about this book specifically, but just like book club stuff. Um, so the first question was what I liked most about the book. And I would say for sure the things that I liked most about the book were the way that the um, author narrated the um, characters and whatnot. I really liked the characters and their development 
and the storyline um, and how it was written. I truly felt like I was like watching a movie in my head. The way that I was able to bring these characters alive in my alive in my head and um, just like the way that she just dis the description of the littlest details I could vividly see it in my head um, and that was something that I really enjoyed. Um, my favorite favorite characters were Vivi obviously Vivian and I love that name I think it's so pretty and Elaine um, I loved her character and I love the way that the author described her and Gwen I loved or Gwen I loved um, I loved her I think she was just a fun uh, character to add a little bit more spunk and spice to the mix um, she was really really cute and I liked the way that um, she was described and portrayed least favorite characters really liked all of the characters and I thought they were all really important to the um to the storyline but Tamsin Tamsin I would uh I would say was probably my least favorite but I understand that she was for sure needed in the storyline in order to um further the plot um oh who would play them in the movie I love this question I saw that I saw this I found this question online and I was like oh yeah I'm answering that for sure because when I was like I said when I was reading this book I was like playing it as like a movie in my head and um these actors were who I was imagining for Vivi I had a hard time um imagining her as somebody specific but when I was looking up actresses who um portrayed her or like who have the same details as her Dove Cameron and Catherine Love Newton I'll post I'll, I'll add uh, photos of them too so that you can have like a visual represent representation but Dove Cameron and Catherine Love Newton were who I was kind of thinking um for for Vivi for Rise I was I could only think of Jacob uh I can never pronounce his last name Alordi I could only think of him uh, when I was reading the book, truly. Uh, could just be because of Kissing Booth, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's really all it, uh, who I could think of when I was reading the book. For Gwen, I would probably choose Madeline Petch. Um, and that's, that's all, that's who I was imagining as, um, as portraying her in the movie. Could just be because of Riverdale and, um, this has the same kind of vibes as Riverdale and the chilling adventures of Sabrina. Um, but yeah, that's who I was portraying or that's who I was thinking of when I was thinking of Gwen. Um, and Aunt Elaine, <laughs> there was a quote in the book that said that she resembled Stevie Nicks. Um, and that's all I can think of after that is just like a, a sort of older, not really older. Um, Stephen X. That's all I could think of. Um, but but yeah, that's who I would choose to play. Um, just the main characters in the movie. As far as the narration, I think that the author did an amazing job of switching back and forth between it sort of being third person, but also in the perspective of Rise and Vivi. Um, it flipped back and forth, and it was pretty clear um when they were switching perspectives which I felt um was brilliant I thought that it was a really great way of understanding both of the main characters um thoughts and feelings and inner dialogue while also being sort of third person um in the sense of uh explaining details um in third person but I thought she did a really great job at that and I I really I really enjoyed that way of reading. Um next question I wrote down were um any turning points in the book that made you go crazy? And yes, there were so many. The last few chapter chapters specifically were just 
a whirlwind. Like I, uh, so many emotions, so many, um, so many thought processes on my part and just like, ooh, and like the next question that I wrote down were, were there any feelings that I felt while reading it? And I would say particularly during like chapter like 27 ish, um, you find out some very intriguing details and, um, yeah, that was a turning point for me for sure. It sent shivers on my spine that lasted like, it lasted the entire rest of the chapter after after reading um, the specific turning point in that chapter. I was like, okay, okay. I can, I can kind of see how the next few chapters are going to lie out. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was really interesting to me, and I, I, that, I thought that that was a really interesting point in writing the book when I just had shivers up my spine and just, like, they stayed, and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see, the next question I had was favorite quote, um, and this was a toss-up between two, um, one, I mean, never mix vodka with witchcraft never mix what's I think it's the first the first sentence yeah and during in the prologue it's the first sentence never mix vodka and witchcraft I thought it was just a cute um a cute quote that resonates during the whole book really but um yeah I I thought that was a good one and also let's see so I wrote down page 299 Page 299, this quote just like, ugh, ugh, it just hurt me, but it says, that's when he understood what this was, bringing him here to this place where they met, making love to him. She was saying goodbye. Ugh, that hurt me. It hurt me. Ugh, it hurt me. The last question I wrote down was if I could ask the author anything, what would it be? And my question would genuinely be to to Erin Sterling, like, I want to know what she, who she would pick to play in the movie. What actresses and actors she would pick to play the characters, um, because I think that would be really interesting to know. And if, um, like... If our if our if our thought processes were in the same, I, I think that's always I think that's just a really interesting question to ask about a book, um, about really anything like who who would play who would play them in in a in a movie. Overall, I think this book is a very great read. If you're looking for a spooky, very steamy novel to read, um, I'm telling you, there the sex scenes in this book are you can feel the chemistry and you can feel like it, it gives you a visceral reaction you know um you know I was getting butterflies just reading it and it's just very very well written but yes if you're looking for a very steamy little bit more adult uh type of read this is definitely for you um yeah if you do end up reading this, please let me know what you think about it. DM me. I would love to discuss it further with those who have read it so I don't, you know, ruin anything. Um, because it is very good and there's a lot of twists and turns that um, are important to read for yourself. Um, but... With that being said, let me put this on really quick. If you have read it, put down in the comments who you would choose to play the characters. Um, and I will tag the author as well as book of the month so that um, you can subscribe to that if you'd like to and so that you can follow the author if you'd like to as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do want to participate in next month's, um, I am planning on reading The Silent Patient. I haven't read it yet, um, but I hear it is very good. I think this was January's? January 2019. 
and I still haven't read it. This was January 2019's book for book of the month um, and I still haven't read it so that's what I'm going to be working on next um, and I've heard a lot of really great reviews on this book and I know it's pretty popular and it has or at least it has been in the past so I'm sure a lot of you guys have read this book um but yeah that's the book that I'm going to be reading next if you would like to participate in next month but yeah that'll be November and I'll post sometime hopefully in the middle of November and I'll keep you guys updated on my stories and um whatnot so yeah I hope you uh enjoyed this video and I hope that if you do read this book you'll let me know how you like it um and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great rest of your day and the and a great west rest of your October because October is the best month ever so <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye.